Good morning, it's Monday. I'm feeling a lack of energy. I don't know if that's from electrolytes, a lack of water, not sleeping enough, or some other nonsense. But I've got some food cooking, and I need something to do. Grapevines. Right, so I've cut a bit off there, and I've put it there. I'm digging a hole so I can put it in later. It goes all the way up there. All right, so I've had breakfast, and I have looked at the price of ground penetrating radar. That's like... 11 grand um but the core samplers are cheaper now that i've had that existential dread i am going to build some stuff because it makes me feel better so this is my laptop bag it has wheels this one was going all the way out here sometimes and this one was kind of kicking out a little bit i now have three cable ties on this one it does not move this one only needed one does not move huzzah Chickens seem pretty happy, and they can get through the hole. Which means they can get away from the bullies, because the big girls are definitely bullies. I really don't want to, but I have to go out to a survey site and survey. I no longer have access to any equipment, so I've built my own. These are one meter contractible sticks. This is four meters of rope, notched out at one meters each, so I can make a quadrant. This is 25 meters of transect line notched at every one meters and this is a tape measure so i'm going to go out to the site do one transect line collect five samples go to university have lunch sit through a lecture and then read so many so many pages so i've just done a transect line the next one's going to be over here but there's a kangaroo right there and i don't want to fuck with him suppose i can do a quadrant quadrant right got my samples i'm gonna go i'm at university i sit down to have my lunch and then i remember i've got back rule which requires a can opener which is in the car so the guest lecturer was an expert on soil microbiology and she was fucking gorgeous i i did not have the brain power to comprehend that situation um i feel very tired and I want to go to bed, but I need to go to the gym. I could drive to the gym, but the idea of having weights above my head while I'm about to fall asleep just seems dumb. Tomorrow, bright and early, survey. Let's go. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I am struggle ugly. The clean is here, so I've decided to skip breakfast and go straight to the site. It's currently 8.30. Still feel like crap. God bless McDonald's patties. So I've got a huge mission. To feed, house, and clothe 24 billion people. And every minute I'm doing the survey, or thinking about the survey, or relaxing because the survey sucks, is a minute that I'm not learning how to do that. It's frustrating. So I'm going to go do a survey now. So I've done a transect line, three quadrants, and I've collected five samples. I think it's time to go home and have brunch. Yes. Oh, and I also got a soil sample. Unlike my preferred method, I do not have a plan for today. So my thinking is I'll read the handout we were given for the next three hours in this slightly air-conditioned room. Then I'll leave for a lecture and then I shall do the gym. I shall actually do the gym this time. Also, in the process of transferring the photos on my phone to my laptop, I maybe wasted like an hour, hour and a half on Facebook just scrolling through because that's the easiest way to transfer photos at the moment. Not happy about that. Summer weather is making me very lazy. I'm so demotivated right now. I did not go to the gym. I have read a little bit. It's currently... 10 20 and I'm, I'm thinking shower in bed feel i like that plan so i'm still just perpetually sleepy which is awesome um there is a change in the weather come thursday friday i'm gonna see if that has an effect if not i shall have to make more drastic measures because me no likey sleepy so i've wet my linen shirt and now i feel awake i think the heat is the issue i have four notes one, I have drunk a shitload of water today, like five to eight liters. It's insane. Two, 
when I wet my shirt, my energy levels increase dramatically, which means I am being affected by the heat. But I can wet shirts whenever I want. Three. University currently feels like it's taking me away from my main goal. However, that could just be this week and next week. Four, my sleep has been terrible. I don't subscribe to the Hocus Pocus, but there is a full moon tonight. And if there is a pattern, I will be noticing. The weather's a bit better. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Today I have to do some laundry, cook some food, water some mealworms, feed some chickens, water some chickens, collect some eggs, and dig a goddamn hole. So today I've got a lecture and a class. Tomorrow I've got a presentation, so I'm going to go to university early and just get started. Which means I'll probably be going to the survey site on Friday. Yes. I have wet my shirt to ensure maximum energy. Also, I have discovered the shirt has many, many stains. This is a carob tree, and those are green carobs. So all the technology is working for my mapping course, which I don't have to do for two weeks. Um, I'm going to go home, have lunch, read a little bit, and then a friend's coming over. Good morning, it's Thursday. I slept well. The weather has changed, and I feel fabulous. Which makes me question my desire to go to India, which is much, much hotter from what I've been told. So after giving my mealworm presentation, I was told I did my math wrong. I redid the math, and I was extra right. No difference between spraying and using psyllium husk at all. It, the amount of difference, I don't know how to word it, but it's extra, not special. I just got paid now to go do some chores. So I've got a lecture in like three hours, and I am dying to get something actually done. So, um, there's a hole over there I want to dig. Never mind, that hole has a pipe. Great, now I'm obsessed with biochar again. Wonderful. So many plans. So little lives. I have so many plans, and realistically, I can only really do one at a time. Right, so go home, have some food, and study. Wait, I have to go to the gym. Don't wanna. So I've got a little bit of manic energy. And for the next four, four days, I am going to be working on my survey and report and paperwork. And I'm going to hate it. So I need to get as much of this manic, crazy people energy out of me as I can. And my biggest question right now is, how do I niche down from feeding 24 billion people to a startup. Everyone knows you need a dream big and being able to feed, clothe and house 24 billion people is pretty fucking big. But what people don't know is to get started you need to start as small as possible. It's a business term where you have to niche down. Niche down, however you pronounce it. The smallest possible minutest thing. Get good at it, like really good. So you start making money so that you can start building up and doing other stuff and then start to vertically integrate or go side with I, business stuff. I, I know what I'm talking about. I'm just not good with words right now. So how do I get into the farming business and make money? Obviously, I was thinking of farming consulting, but let's be honest, that, that's a dumb plan. I'm currently thinking the best thing I could possibly do is find a quick, cheap, convenient way to create biochar because biochar is negatively charged holds a whole bunch of nutrients and water and can just make any soil better and the idea i've got is pretty fucking simple but i should probably think of some other ideas as well so i've got it down to a list of 16 then i've got it down to a list of five long story short biochar because biochar can be done on the fly on the go and I can move around a lot. Everything else needs some kind of equipment or location. Okay, biochar needs equipment, but I've actually already designed biochar equipment that can be moved. I'm going to bed. I forgot to poop. There is a project I would like to get off the floor this summer. It is a vertical wall that is actually useful because apparently all other vertical walls are complete trash and require a great amount of maintenance. It's literally just going to be a self-wicking garden bed on a wall, which is the simplest thing I could possibly think of that would work. 
Now I'm going to bed. Good morning, it's Friday, and I'm butt naked because I really need to go to the toilet. Oh, look, a hole. Now we have a stick in a hole that's all tied up. Hole is filled with dirt, and now it's got mopped. As you can see, I really don't want to go do that survey, so I'm finding anything else I can do. This one, I think I'm going to bury later. Because it's really close to the ground, that big long stick goes to basically no way important. And if it's in the ground, it can grow roots. And if it can grow roots, we, we have more nutrients for the grapevine. Yep. All right, I need to figure out how to do a few things for the survey, then I'm going to go out and survey. So considering the weather today, I'm going to do all the academic and paperwork stuff today, and I will do the survey tomorrow. So I went to university, got settled down, realized I didn't have my paperwork. That paperwork right there. So I'm like, that's fine, I can just print it out. I searched the entire course website. They don't exist. I searched the internet. They also don't exist there either. So I had to drive home for 10 minutes. I'm currently cooking lunch because I'm here, I might as well. And I just, it's ruined my entire morning. Right, let's try this again. It is 4.30 p.m. and I have acquired the brain dead, but I have filled out not only one, but two forms out of the four that I need to do. So, it's cold and I still feel sleepy, which means there's something else wrong. Did a little bit of research, um, because I am on carnival diet and it's newish. Um, you need to take organ meats to get all your vitamins. I haven't touched organ meat in like a month. So I'm thinking that might be it. I'm going to go get myself some liver for dinner. It It's so gross. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache. It can't be dehydration, surely. <sighs> the liver tasted half decent. I had a lot of water. I I'm going to have a shower, read a bit, and have more water. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Night. But first I'm going to walk the dog because he cute. Good morning, it's Saturday. I have gotten dressed and sewn on a button. I've also fed and watered the chickens and had breakfast. It's only 8.20 and I'm going to have to go do some surveying because it's not raining. So long story short, I did my transect line in quadrants. Then I shit my pants, got home had a shower, had lunch, and now I'm full of rage. <laughs> I'm going back to my survey site. I'm going to do a bug survey and measure some height of some trees or something. A and then I'm done. Done with the surveying. I then still have to write a report, but, you know, done with the survey. I've looked at some bugs and I've measured some trees very poorly. Because apparently one of those is six meters, but it looks more like four. But I don't care enough. I'm going home. Right, it's nearly 5 p.m. I've done everything I can think of in regards to the survey site, except for identify a few bugs and create a herbarium. But that requires a week to be pressed into something vaguely resembling a pressed plant sample. I also have two exams this week and a report due on Friday. And seeing as I got all the information I required from a fellow student, I believe the report is a good plan right now. Maybe. Yep, let's go. I'd like to point out that weather is tolerable. I've drunk a lot of water and I had liver yesterday and I feel great. You know, besides the whole shit my pants thing, that was not fun. So the assignment is actually pretty cryptic. It took me a little while to figure out what they actually wanted. But this seems pretty easy. I just remembered there's a building with better air conditioning that has a shorter walk to the printer. So going there, definitely. It's 8 p.m. I've classified my soils. And because I would like to have a good day tomorrow, I'm thinking shower, read, bed. Which means I'm skipping gym, possibly two days in a row, which I don't feel good about. 
but given that it's exam season, I'm not going to feel too bad about that. But I will definitely be going Monday. Good morning. It is Sunday. I am awake. I am dressed. Breakfast is cooking. I did drink a crap load of water yesterday. Yet, my pee is a dark yellow. I do not comprehend the situation, but I shall deal with it. Not entirely sure how they get over there. I'm going to have to check them at night time to see if they actually make it back in the coop. Right, I've got a soils report to do. I have completed another section of the report. I shall go walkies. Completed another section of the report. I am going for another walkies. I have scanned my soil something profile. Soil profile records. So, yay, that's a thing. Finished another section of my report. So I'm going to go out for a walk and get my lunch. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that I need to find a way to cook meat at the university because this canned fish thing is costing more money than it should. Like sure the canned meat is convenient but I can get a whole bunch of chicken for like three bucks for lunch. I need to think about this. Another section, another walkies. It's getting a little hot. So if I got some heavy duty aluminium foil and like did some origami. I could probably cook some meat in that. Because we've definitely got panini presses at university. As long as I get meat, meat juices all over it, it should be fine. Also, check this out. This is a north-facing wall. And I fucking hate airplanes. Have been designing a green wall. Or I suppose components for a green wall. <gasps> I found a cool rock. See that crisscrossy pattern? That used to be lava. <laughs> cool rock. Well, this is a really nice spot, although I think I found this spot earlier. That makes it a doubly nice spot, I guess. Right, I just finished hanging out with a friend. Tomorrow I'm going to finish that report, which involves polishing and references. I am then going to study for this exam like my life depends on it, and I'm going to go to a lecture. Then eventually I'm going to go to the gym. That is my entire day. That's all I have to do. And for right now, I'm going to bed. Night.